Hey everybody, welcome back to Angry Badger Mini. So last night we had a live stream, but I just, I had it when I did the, um, the edit or whatever, it didn't come out right. Um, like the quality was a lot lower, all kinds of stuff, so I went ahead and deleted it. Um, so just a quick recap, thank you for my new subscribers, really appreciate it. Um, uh, especially those of you, uh, following me on Instagram, Sunjam, etc. Um, we had, uh, another guy... I figured out what was going on. Cursive Jones off of Discord. Um, and then, uh, anyway, what we're doing, or what we've done, is we've done, we've got a mold here that we've been able to make. And let me just grab the tank real quick. We got a couple, couple molds here that we're working on. Um, one was to make this bulldozer blade, which we did. And it worked out really well, as you guys can see. You see the details really well. Um, the second thing is, we made another mold. Still working on this one because I got to do some channel work the channels here for the air and whatnot. But we were able to get track guards, okay, as you can see here, and we were able to get an antenna to work um, as well. Now I'm not a big fan of this circle part of the antenna. I'm thinking about actually cutting that part off, but we'll see. Um, but as you can see, I mean, we're we're doing really well with the parts that we've needed to make to, you know, flesh flesh out these Lehman Russes, um, as well as have enough uh, bulldozers or blades for uh, you know and track guards for the rest of my actual real tanks. So because I only have three sets, so we just we let we poured this a little while ago. Um, just wanted to go ahead and show you this. I'm not trying to be, you know, sneaky about it. Um, should be pretty good to go. Yep, looks like we got a really good mold here. Oh, and we have to also have a little ammo box here as well. Um, let me just feel that a little bit. Now, still a little soft, so I'm gonna let that one cure a little bit longer in the air. But as you guys can see, we've got a nice, nice clean, nice clean dozer blade along with uh, the the mount. And this little ammo box that uh, looks like, well, that one had a hole in it, I guess. You know, something like this. And I just kind of threw it in there last minute. This one's not a great, great one, but now you know what we're looking at. Um, but like I said, I mean, we are doing super awesome. Now, you may see a little bit of, you know, this stuff right here, you know, a little imperfection or whatever. You can fix that with green stuff. You could fix it with, you know... Um, uh, gap filling glue or whatever, you know, any of that kind of stuff. But the, the, the main the main takeaway from this is I'm going to be putting cami netting and all this other kind of stuff on here. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. Um, you're not even going to notice it, see it, whatever. Um, but these tanks are coming out great. Um, so basically what I'm working on today, uh, and I'm, you know, this won't be a very long video, but what I'm working on today is I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six seven um i'm sorry hold on seven eight nine ten yeah i've got ten more of these dozer blades to make um because the three real ones will be going on the uh the lehman rust vanquishers and i might go ahead and make some more for my steel legion um and rip off the old blades and put these new blades on but we'll see you know how ambitious I decided to get I mean that's not necessarily today but I wanted to show you guys something else um, I, I don't know what you guys are gonna think of this uh, but it's hold on. but I I mean I'm thinking about making making this thing um, where's my property there we go um, I'm really thinking about making this vehicle just for an objective piece, um, you know, or what have you. Uh, let me show you what this thing is. I, f I came across this yesterday just blind. I was not looking for this. Didn't even know this thing existed. But what you have here is a trench crawler or a trench maker. And this is from, uh, I, I believe, World War I uh, era or shortly after. And... I think that it's possible, and I can use the, the, you know, the 
hellhounds that I don't have put together yet. Let me just move this down for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I think that I can use these and put them back to back like that in a mold kind of thing and make this thing uh, as well as put blades on either end. So if you're not familiar with how this thing works, um, essentially uh, this giant blade on here and then you have this this part right here that does like two feet of the of the trench and basically the top blade as it's going through it's not really digging down into the ground so much as as it's taking you know the residual on top and then shoving it up on the sides and building it you know by a three foot parapet okay and i believe it was world war world war one world war two ish i know that churchill had something to do with it um or at least they said he did uh, but regardless, it could be could be World War II. Um, it, it it didn't it was not mass produced. Um, there was another one that somebody tried to make as well, and then there was a another one that they made with that had like you know bucket after bucket that would scoop, and then another one would scoop, kind of like a um, a water wheel type of thing. Um, and then of course they talked about the abhorrent conditions. You know for the guys that had to drive this you know how how tight it was in there etc i'm going to show you another picture here um, just to show you how small it was um, let's see here as you can see not very not very wide at all here probably the size of a a small car um, and then of course not very tall um, just long uh, i believe it was a thousand horsepower or something like that uh, at the time so anyway, I'm thinking about making something like this, uh, just like I said, for terrain, for an objective piece, for just for my army as a whole. I think it's, it, I, I couldn't even believe I came across it out of nowhere. Just, it's, it's crazy how that happened. But anyway, like I said, we're, we're doing really well here. Um, moving along. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm really figuring out, you know, how to get these molds right and, and it's I mean I'm, I'm doing very well with them um, as you can see we've got a really good take right here um, and it's everything from channels to you know what I'm using to actually put pressure on you know or not put pressure on certain areas to make sure I get the mold right and when we look at these track guards and stuff um, like this one's a pretty as you guys can see a pretty in-depth mold in-depth mold I made a lot of I just added a bunch of random stuff in there like packs and things like that that I need to go back and well I need to go back and I need to make sure that I've got the right channels and stuff um, just because of the way things were uh, but as far as like um, let's see here I didn't realize I had this blade over here that's just waiting to be put on um, you know the track guards and things like that um, you know all of these things you know came out of one mold with the the idea that you know especially these did as well with the idea that I would be able to um, you know maybe get 60% of the mold to work right or what have you but it, it's you know it did and if you run into things like this right here okay where you've got this little thin spot right there it's not a hole it's just thin right that's no big deal I mean you know glue paint all that stuff's gonna fill that in and you're not even gonna see it so um, super happy with the track guards and the, and the fact that I didn't have to do you know plastic card you know and stuff like that I mean man I'd be cutting forever <laughs> and it wouldn't look as nice or as full as these track cards do um, but I, I'm super impressed like I said that the antenna came out I can't believe that uh, I just, I'm not, like I said, I'm not real big on this circle part. Um, and I believe all those are on my, they are, they're all on my uh, chimeras as well. But that's just a snip away, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I want to do that. So, anyway, I just wanted to put out a quick video, especially for any of you that were on last night and you're wondering why the heck the video is no longer up. I just didn't, I didn't like what YouTube did. And, um, you know nobody's home at the moment so I had a chance to do it during the day so with all that said thank you guys so much um, if you like to support the channel patreon link below please like share subscribe 
let people know. And uh, there is Instagram link, Discord link, etc. And we will see you next time.